handy cats, or dogs. Why they might make your perfect pet. That's next on All for Animals. Just like my one-eyed cat, Louie, there are plenty of not-so-physically-perfect yet wonderful animals out there who need loving homes. Inspiring folks around the world to adopt special needs pets is Homer the Blind Wonder Cat, whose amazing rescue story is told in the book Homer's Odyssey, a fearless feline tale by Gwen Cooper. It was 14 years ago when Gwen got the call from her other cat's vet about a three-week-old kitten who had such a bad eye infection, his eyes had to be removed. And when she went to see him, Oh, it was definitely love at first sight, as I always say. Uh, he was so, you know how little they are. When they're three weeks old, he was so tiny, and he still had the stitches in from his surgery, so he had, you know, one of those Elizabethan cones <laughs> around his neck, and, and it was the smallest one they had, but it was still pretty much bigger than he was. And uh, it was sad, but he looked so cute, too. He was just so adorable. And, uh, and the second I picked him up, he just... Uh, you know, crawled right up to, you know, started nuzzling underneath my chin and, and rubbing his head against my neck and purring. And he, uh, I believe my exact words to the vet were, wrap him up, I'm taking him home. So you say in the book that Homer has really changed the way you think about life and about relationships in particular. So talk to me about that. Well, I definitely learned from Homer that, you know, in terms of relationships, certainly that sometimes the most unexpected relationships turn out to be the ones that are the most gratifying and the most rewarding. I always say that, you know, when I adopted Homer, I knew for sure that I did not want a third cat in my life at that point. Mm-hmm. And later, you know, when I married my husband, we had been very close friends for a number of years. So if there were two things I knew in my life, I was not going to have a third cat. And Lawrence and I were just going to be the best of friends <laughs> for the rest of our lives. And as I said, sometimes the most unexpected relationships turn out to be the most rewarding ones. Gwen donates 10% of the proceeds from the book to charity and recently made a $10,000 donation to Blind Cat Rescue in North Carolina, a visit she says was really something. You know, Homer is uh, is so interesting and unique looking and, and the way he looks is always one of the first things that people notice. And so to walk into a room, you know, into a shelter with 30 cats who all kind of turned to me with Homer's face was uh, was very emotional, actually, in a way that I was not really expecting it to be. Homer, meanwhile, is immortalized in the online comic book Handy Cats, where he and his crime-fighting partner, Ajax the Bionic Cat, plug the BP oil spill with the world's largest fur ball. Here in the city is another blind wonder cat who ironically looks a lot like Homer and Louie. Her name is Lovey, and she and her buddy Sam Elliott are two of the animals getting a second chance thanks to the Picasso Veterinary Fund of the Mayor's Alliance for New York City's Animals. The Picasso Veterinary Fund was started back in 2000 when uh, a pitbull with a very uh, malformed mouth came into Manhattan uh, Animal Care and Control. Um, he would have been euthanized um, due to the fact that he needed special medical care um, to fix and allow him to breathe appropriately and eat appropriately. And unfortunately, Animal Care and Control is not set up um, for that type of procedure. Um, So he was taken out by a wonderful family who took him to uh, a medical hospital, um, one of the ones in the city, the specialty hospitals, um, got him the care that he needed. Um, But in turn, it started um, kind of a movement. And um, in 2003, Bernadette Peters and Mary Tyler Moore started the Picasso Veterinary Fund to help uh, animals that are in animal care and control get the medical care that they need. So we have Lovey, who is a beneficiary of the uh, Picasso Veterinary Fund. And Lovey is also a very special handy cat. She is um, tell special. Me, She's so very special. Tell me about her. Uh, Lovey came to us. Um, we were doing a low-cost spay and neuter clinic at the Staten Island Shelter um, when she came in with about eight other cats who had the worst upper respiratory infection that we've ever seen. Um, that wouldn't normally be considered a, a handicap, but she's also leukemia positive as well as um, blind. Um, her eyes, although she has eyes, were malformed, and so she's never um, been able to see. So she seems pretty unaffected by the fact that she can't see? She could care less. It takes her a little while, a little longer to figure things out, but once she does, she's pretty fearless. And she can smell treats from half a room away. Oh, she <laughs> loves freeze-dried chicken treats. It, you, you even rattle the drawer that the treats are in, and she comes running, no matter what. So what are some of the kinds of um, disabilities or special needs that the Picasso Veterinary Fund animals have? 
Um, it, it ranges from anything from um, a broken, you know, a dog gets hit by a car, has a broken leg, um, the leg needs pins and plates, to simple things, upper respiratory infections um, that are so severe. Parvo is a big one. And so these cats and dogs don't always stay special needs animals, right? right? Correct, yeah. Some of these, like Parvo, they get over, they go on to lead happy, healthy, normal lives. Um, some cat, uh, some animals, like Levy, who are leukemia positive, so they're still technically special needs. The only thing that leukemia does, it may um, open them up to um, upper respiratory infections more often. It may shorten their lifespan, but they're not really considered special needs. Um, you know, all of the animals that come out of animal care and control under the Picasso Fund start out as special, but they don't all stay that way. You can check out some of the cats and dogs available for adoption at PicassoVeterinaryFund.org. And remember, no matter what animal you bring into your life, please make yours the next great rescue story and head to a shelter or contact a rescue group near you. I'm Susan Richard. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on All for Animals.